Shopify. If you've been in the e-commerce space for any length of time, you've probably heard of it. Shopify is one of the most established and trusted options for building and hosting your own website where you can sell products online. While selling on marketplace platforms like Amazon or Etsy is great, many entrepreneurs want to have their own website that's more customizable, which is exactly what Shopify allows you to do. With Shopify, you can sell physical products, digital products, services, pretty much anything you want. So in today's Shopify tutorial for beginners, we're going over how to sell on Shopify, including how to start your store, add your products, customize the way your storefront looks, and how to actually get traffic there to make sales. So let's jump in. So your first step is going to be to click the link that I have in the description box below that'll lead you over to the site where you can start your free trial of Shopify. So this will give you a free three day trial and then your first month just for $1 after that. So click that link, come on over. And your first step is to enter your email address. We're going to click start free trial and then continue through these couple of questions it's going to ask you. And once you've gone through the questions to create your account, it'll bring you here to your dashboard. And what you want to do here before you dive into anything else is to click here to select your plan. Going ahead and selecting a plan is going to ensure that you get your first month for that $1. So when I click select a plan, it'll give me all the options for the different Shopify plans. So you can look at what each includes and decide which one would be right for your business. For this one, I'm just going to select basic and it'll ask you to go ahead and put in your payment information and hit subscribe. All right, so we've got that all set up. And at this point, you can choose to work through this setup guide, which gives you nine of your first steps that you'll need to take everything from adding your first product to designing your store, filling out your store settings, or you can do things manually as you'd like to. So the first thing I would mention that's probably the most important out of all of these is to go ahead and name your store, which is under the store settings section. So I can click to name my store. For this demo, I'm just gonna call this Kate's store and click save. And this will take me to the settings page where I can then click through any of these different settings I'd like to go ahead and put in place. So for instance, I could click on payments and this is where I can select how I want to allow my customers to pay. Do I want to set up Shopify payments? Do I want to add PayPal as an option? I can go through and customize this however I'd like. I can also click on domains to add a custom domain name for my website if I have one, or I can click to buy my own domain. So I have a really nice URL to send people to. So this is where I'll go to set up all of my settings, but I can come back and fill this in later. So I'm gonna come back to my dashboard. And the first thing I wanna point out is the this products tab on the left. This is where we're going to go to start adding our products. So I can click here to add a new product. And this is going to take me to the page where I'm going to create my whole listing for a single product. I'll start by entering things like the title. So for instance, if I'm selling a funny mug, I could create a title, something like funny mom mug, or maybe I'm selling digital products, something like a Canva slide deck template. And once I have my title, I'm going to continue through these different fields like the description, adding pictures, choosing which category it's in, adding a price, deciding if I want it to track the quantity of my inventory and filling out this shipping section. Now, if it is a digital product, I'm going to unselect where it says this is a physical product because it's not. And I'll be able to come back to this in a minute and show you how to add your digital files to your listing. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. This is just a test product for this demo. But now if I come back to my main product section, I can see it here as an active product listing in my store. Now, like I mentioned, maybe I want to sell digital products. And in that case, I'm going to have to download the app that allows me to add digital files to my product listings. So I'm going to come here to the apps section and click on add apps. And the app section is where I can add on any plugins or integrations that work with Shopify that allow me to have more capabilities beyond just what I can do in the normal dashboard. So for instance, I could use the Printful app if I'm wanting to sell print on demand products. So if I want to add an app to my account, all I do is click this little arrow button. I'm going to go ahead for this and click install. And this is bringing me over to the Printful website because I'm going to have to have a Printful account to be able to sync it with my Shopify account. I'm going to go ahead and click to create my account, which is totally free and pretty easy to do. And then I'm going to confirm the connection to my store. So now I'm inside the Printful dashboard where I can actually create my print on demand products. And I can see that it's synced with my Shopify Kate's store account. And I can click here to add my first product. So I'm going to click add product. And at this point, I would look for what I want to add. So let's say I want to add a women's shirt. I can come to that section, choose the exact shirt that I'd like to add and go through all the steps to design it here or to upload a design that I created in a different program. My favorite program to create these types of designs with is Canva and it's easy and free to use. If you've never used Canva before, I have a link in the description box below that'll give you access to a free 30 day Canva pro trial. So you'll get access to all of the upgraded pro features and you can try it out and see if you like 
designing with it, but this is just an example of what I might do for a shirt. So I brought in this cute little graphic of a Christmas tree. I've added some text that says Holly Jolly. I'm gonna click to download this as a PNG file with a transparent background and click download. And then I'm gonna come back over to my design on Printful and click here to upload. I'll choose the design I want, click apply, and it brings it onto my shirt where I can then reposition it how I'd like it on the shirt. There's lots of different options here in this editor to do things like crop, reposition, transform it. So I can work with this image, editing this and repositioning how I'd like until I'm happy with the way it looks and then click continue. Then it brings me to a page where I can choose if I'd like to create some mock-ups with this t-shirt design. And I'll keep continuing through the process where I'll come to this page where I can enter things like a title and description, but I don't have to do that necessarily here. I can always do this on the Shopify side as well. I'm gonna continue on to my pricing page where I can set whatever price I like for the different sizes of t-shirt and Printful will tell me here what my estimated profit margin would be. So the base cost for this shirt in let's say a size medium is $20.95. So if I raise my price to 30, 50, this is gonna give me a profit margin or extra amount that I get to keep of 9.55. So I'm gonna go through, set all of my prices. And when I'm happy with it, I'm gonna click submit to store, which is sending this product over to my Shopify store. It says, congrats on adding your first product. So this tells me it successfully synced to my store. So I'm gonna come back over and look at my Shopify store. If I come back to my products section, I can see the first one I created, my Canvas slide deck template, but here I've got this second one from Printful, the women's t-shirt. So if I click on that, I can continue editing. Again, things like the title, the description, pretty much anything I need to edit on here. I can add more photos, change out the pricing. But that is the basic process of adding a print on demand product with an app like Printful. Now let's go back to our app section because I wanna look for the one that I need for my digital products. I'm gonna come down here and click on where it says Shopify App Store, which is gonna bring me to the entire app store where I can browse through all the different plugins and integrations that are available. Some are free to install, some are paid, but I know specifically I want the digital downloads app. So I'm gonna type in digital downloads. And this one right here is the digital downloads app that's Shopify's digital products app that I can use for free. So I'm gonna click install and go ahead and click install again. And now that this is installed, when I look at my list of products, I see here an added column that says digital files and I have the ability to click to add a digital file to any of my products. So let's say for my Canvas slide deck template, I want to add a file, I'm gonna click on that click add files. And this is where I would select whatever actual file is the deliverable for the product that I'm attaching it to. Once I add my file, it'll then give me additional prompts that I can customize the delivery email that's gonna be sent to my customer with this file attached. So this app section is really fun to look around and explore and figure out if there might be other apps I might use, like for instance, for email marketing, bookkeeping, there's just a lot of different amazing tools there. So the next step in the process is going to be to customize my actual storefront the way my website looks. So I'm gonna come over to the left under sales channels and click on online store. I also have the option to customize my point of sale. So that's really helpful if I'm selling both online and in person. Let's say I have a brick and mortar store as well, or I'm selling at market markets in person, I might want to use the point of sale option on Shopify as well. But for now, let's just look at our online store. And we're going to come to where it says themes. A theme is basically the whole look of your website and the layout for your storefront. Right now it has the default theme applied that's called Dawn. So if I like this theme, I can click to customize it, but I can also come and change my storefront to a different theme. Some themes are free and some are paid. Right here I can see some of the popular free themes, or I can also use this AI tool to generate a custom theme based on what I'm selling. So it says, describe your business to create unique themes with personalized content. So for instance, I might say I'm selling digital resources for coaches and content creators. I'm gonna click generate themes. And here I've got three different suggestions of themes that would work for this type of business. So I can look through these and click view demo if I wanna see full size what this theme would look like as a website. I can scroll through it and get an idea of the whole feel of this theme. I can come back view the demo for all of these other ones. And once I've decided the one that I like, I can click below where it says try theme. So here it's brought me into the actual theme editor where I can change out the text, the photos, all of the different elements and layout of my website. This is where I can have a lot of
lot of fun customizing this to look exactly like what I want it to be. So for instance, if I wanna change out one of these photos, I can select it and over here on the right hand side, I'll see what editing options I have. So I can change this out under image and it gives me the option to either upload my own image or to explore some of the free images that are available. So if I look at that, I can click what category I'm looking for. I'm gonna choose work from home and then I can see all of these beautiful free images that I can use on my website under the category work from home. So let's choose this one with the laptop. And then of course I can continue editing just by clicking on the section that I want to edit. So if it's this text, for instance, I'm gonna come over here to the right and I can change out what this says and just work through this element by element, switching things out to make it look like my store. I've got my featured products section here and I can even come up to the top where it says homepage and select that drop down menu to switch to a different page like my products page, my collections page, and I can edit and customize all of these different pages on my website. If I come up here to the top right, I can also switch over to mobile to see how my store would look on mobile because most people are probably gonna be finding it on mobile. So I wanna make sure that the layout is correct for that as well. Now, quick side note, if you're interested in selling digital products online, but don't really know where to start or what goes into it, I have something that's gonna be super valuable and helpful for you. It's my digital product starter guide. It's a free download that's gonna give you everything you need to know to get started with your online digital products business from square one. So after you're done watching this video, definitely click the link in the description box below to grab that guide to get you started off on the right foot. So once you've got your website all set up, you've got your products ready to go, then the next step is to proactively drive traffic to make sales. Let's face it, the truth is no one will even know your business exists unless you get the word out and get it in front of them. So this is where marketing comes in. There are lots of different forms of digital marketing that you can use to drive traffic, lots of free options, many paid options. But my favorite strategy and the one that I've seen the most success with in my business is free content marketing. This is where you're gonna use a social media platform like Instagram or Facebook or a content platform like Pinterest, YouTube, maybe a blog to put out free valuable content that's going to attract the type of people that are your ideal customers and bring them into your world. You're both serving them with valuable information and content that could help them solve their problems and pain points and struggles. But in doing so, they're going to get familiar with you and your business and potentially become a warm lead that will purchase from you later on down the road. Now, you definitely don't need to be on all of these different platforms. I suggest you pick one content platform to focus on in the beginning and really put all of your effort into learning how that specific platform works and creating content that has a lot of potential to grow on that platform. One way you can gain momentum and traction with this pretty quickly is by finding other creators or business owners to collaborate with. When you do a collaboration with another person, you're basically joining up together to do something fun like a joint giveaway or a content swap where you're featuring each other and telling your audience, hey, go check out so-and-so on their account. They're doing the same for you. So you're technically tapping into an already built audience and not having to start from zero. The more partnerships and collaborations you can do, the better. So definitely find people that are complementary to your business and reach out to them to see if they might be willing to join you for a fun content partnership. Now, if you do have a little bit of budget, you can also use paid marketing, which would be paying for ads to get your word out to more people on platforms like Google, Facebook, TikTok. Most platforms have the option for paid ads. So you'll just want to research the different platforms and see which one might be the best fit to pay for a little bit of marketing to get get more traffic to your shop. Whatever form of digital marketing you go with, the point is to be proactive about getting the word out about your shop and doing whatever you can to actively drive traffic. So go ahead and click that link in the description box below to start your free trial and get your first month of Shopify for just $1. And also don't forget there's a link there as well for that digital product starter guide in case you're interested in learning how to start and grow a profitable online digital products business. Happy selling friends. Hey.